Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. <sighs> and I've done a, quite a few videos the last couple of days. Well, yesterday. I did like five videos. And I've still got like at least four more that I want to do. Um, but I keep forgetting about, I've just been lazy because it's, I'm still on vacation from work. I needed some much needed just do nothing time. Um, but I realized it is now September. Um, and so I thought I would do a video on the decks I got in August. And I have 10 decks. Um, most of them are pretty cheap. Um, there's only one that's not a mass market. Two that's not a mass market deck on here. Um, and the rest were like things I found in random places. So, um, and then I have a book too to show. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first deck I bought for the month of August was the Oracle of Mystical Moments. If you've watched my channel by Catherine Wellstein, it comes in a two-part box. It is published by U.S. Games. <clears throat> it comes with a great little book. And if you've been watching my channel, I bought the Tarot of Mystical Moments in June. These are the bags. They're quite beautiful. Um, and I was like, well, and I'd wanted the Oracle before I ever wanted the Tarot. And I just never bought it. And I'm like, well, now I have to buy the Oracle because I bought the Tarot. <laughs> so um, I bought it, wound up buying it in August. And they're quite beautiful. Uh, the artwork is quite beautiful. And it's funny because I would never um, thought I would get on with the Tarot of Mystical Moments. I love that deck. Um, this was has been on my wish list for a very long time, this deck. But I don't seem to get on with it as well as I do the tarot, which is weird because I never really wanted the tarot or thought I would ever get along with it, and I love it. Um, so that's interesting. I do pair them together, and they do read well together. That's the only reason I'm probably keeping this deck because it doesn't speak to me like, as well as the tarot does, which is weird because, um, except for this card, I love, love, love this card. I had a dream once. I was standing in this like um, old antique like it, Italian um, walkway where it was like pillars but it was open and then I'm on the inside of the wall and all of a sudden it started flooding and it was flooding this instrument um, thousands of them um, in the water and I was like that's crazy and then if you look this has got water in the image of the Oboe. I think it's an oboe. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like, this deck knows my dreams. It's weird. Um, and it was like 2019 when I had that dream. And I was having one dream after another about catastrophes. It was always water related. Like there was a flood of something coming in the 2020 hit. So I'm just wondering if that was a metaphor for 2020 coming, warning me. I had quite a few dreams in 2019 of flooding. Um, quite a few. Um, yeah, and this deck, it's gorgeous. I just don't resonate as well with it as I do with the tarot. But it's still gorgeous. Gorgeous deck. So that is the Oracle of Mystical Moments I got in the first deck I bought in the month of August. The next deck, I haven't seemed to really put it down much. The Ancestral Path Tarot by Julia Kichia Watts. Just happened to walk in my metaphysical shop and there it was. And I'm like, yep, it's a sign. Because um, I'm one of the Matt or Mahat Tarot. It comes with a nice little book. And these cards are huge. Um, and I'm like, well, I'll get this as a, um, to see if I get on with it. If I get on with it, then I'll definitely buy the other one. And, which is not a mass market deck. This one is, it's published by. U.S. Games. Um, but I adore this deck. I do. I love it so much. I love the backs. I love that it's humongous. I love that there's um, the four suits have different uh, have diversity um, in uh, races. Um, it speaks to me kind of like my um, no, I'm not going to remember the name of it. My Mystical Shaman Oracle does. Not a lot of people like that deck. Um, look at that. 
Um, but it speaks to me just like that one does. Like I've owned this deck before, even though I have it. It's almost like a literally an ancestral link to this deck somehow. Um, like I've had it before. Um, and that's how I feel about the other, the mystical shaman oracle by Colette Baron Reed. It's the same, I get the same vibe. And I've yet to put these two together, but I think they would be a fantastic duo. Look at that. Beautiful. I could show this deck all day long because it is so scrumptious and gorgeous. And I love it to pieces. going to show a few more here. Let me see. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So that is the Ancestral Path Tarot by Julia Kishi Watts. Um, it's bigger than the palm of my hand. <laughs> it is awesome. I love it. I love it so hard. So hard. Okay, so there's deck two. And then I got, which is an old school um, wish list order. I got the Arcana Tarot Playing Cards. Love the box. Slides open like that. Look at that blue. Gorgeous. All in there, blue. And then their playing card size. There's the backs gorgeous and then it's playing cards but it's also associated with the see this one's the swords um these are the extra cards and the jokers which i love um let me show you some there's the hierophants um there's some wands seven of wands um the joke jack jack or the prince of swords depends on how you look at it or what you're doing with it. Here's the pentacle, two of pentacles, balance, page of swords. Prince of Wands. Uh, yeah, there's they're very slidey too, sorry. Uh, the King of Cups. This deck is gorgeous. Emperor. Gorgeous. Oh, look at this temperance. And strength. And I did do a full walkthrough of this deck. All of these decks. So if you want to look at them. I love this Ace of Wands. You can just literally feel the fire burning it up. <laughs> Here we have the Two of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Here's the Tower. Justice. Wheel of Fortune. I love it. Oh, I love this Hermit. Gorgeous. And it doesn't really death. I mean, it just says Tarot in that one spot. Uh, well, I guess here too. Um, so you could really hide these and be like, oh, I'm not reading tarot. I'm just got yeah, my playing card. Magician. Um, and I did take it on my trip to um, look at this sun card to Tennessee when I went. Um, but I never read with them. I have another deck that I got the day I left that I read with, which I'll show you here in a minute. The World High Priestess. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. Um, and I get this from Dead on Paper, is the publishing company. Um, it was like 25 bucks. I wanted the um, black and white version, and I have, I don't know where it went, the extra cards. There's extra cards in here. Let's show. I can't find it. Yeah, there it is. That's the back of the black and white version. Um, and then I have the white version. Um, but the black version is out of print, sadly. 
so I couldn't get it. I've seen it for like $900. I'm like, yeah, no. I can get this one for 25 bucks. And then it's got the Infinity symbol here also. So I'm pretty happy with it. Even though I wanted the other version. I'm like, no, I'm not 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 paying astronomical amount of money for playing cards. <laughs> Tarot. So then we got Let Go Little Cards by Akal Pratam. It's inside of the box. And it's by Rockpool Publishing. And it's just got beautiful little images on the front. And then sayings on the back. And the, set, the backs are a little different too on each one. Um, but they're gorgeous little watercolor looking images on that. And I love it. Love it to pieces. It's so pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous. So there's that one. And there's like 54. I think 54 cards in there. We have the Crystal Wisdom uh, Oracle Affirmations from the Ancient Power of Crystals, Rachel Charman. And there's 40 cards in here. There might be 40 in that one. And look what's right on top. There's the inside. And these are um, shiny cards. There's Malachite. And then they got what the meaning is on the back. Very easy and simple. So, and you know what? No. Um, for somebody that is just really getting into crystals, this is a great little deck for that. Because um, I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time when it comes to crystals. So I love that. It's got this little thing with it. So those are pretty. Got those, and they're this one is published by U.S. Games. And I didn't really spend a whole lot on these decks this this month. Then I got the Wishcraft. The Magic Starts Here by Stacey DeMarco. I also have her Moon deck that I got last month, or for July, um, that I showed you guys. It's by Rockpool Publishing as well. This one is also shiny. It's got really pretty images on the front, and then it's saying on the back. Really, really pretty. Look at that. It's fall, summer, winter, spring. All together. Magic happens at all times of the year. Gorgeous. And I really like these images. They're cute. I don't think I need to go up. The sun just completely went away. <laughs> Look how pretty these are. Oh, cute. It's an egg. You can't really tell. It's kind of washing it out. Really pretty. I got chilly. It's been raining almost all day. So I had a window. Decided to come out here and do it. <laughs> so that is the um, Wished Craft. Oracle Cards by Stacy DeMarco, published by Rockwell Publishing. Super cute. Super tiny. They're magnetic. All these were magnetic. You just throw them in your bag and go. Then I got, and the box is already ripping up, because for some reason it doesn't want to shut right. The Morgan Greer Tarot Full Size. Um, if you look at my walkthrough of the mini deck, you'll know why I have the full size now. Um... That was an experience. These are different cardstock, though. They're really pretty. They're more vibrant than what I had. And I just... The mini deck was a used copy, clearly, even though I paid for a new one. Um, it's faded. It's really rough around the edges. This one is different cardstock, which I love it way better. The car colors are much more vibrant. Um, and I love it. Love it. I took this with me on my trip to Tennessee. Rarely put it down. I did a little reading every morning with it on the 
balcony facing nothing but wood. So in the log cabin. So yeah, I loved it. And it was nice to bonding with this deck. And I love the, um, I don't know why it makes me think of the 70s, early 80s. I was born in the mid-70s. So I can't really remember the 70s, but I remember the, the late, the, the feel, if that makes sense, of what the 70s felt like and what the 80s felt like. I remember those. Um, and it just makes me feel like roller skating um, at the roller rink on a Saturday night. Um, that's what this deck makes me feel, and I love that feeling of that innocence, that freedom. And I love that. So that is the Morgan Greer Tarot, also published by U.S. Games. It just got really dark. I'm hoping I don't get rained on. I've only got three more decks, so we're cruising along here. I'm going to have to get that bag because that box is, like, shredding. So then I went to my five and below, and I found these playing cards. 52 cards. It's a regular playing card deck, except for they were a dollar also. The backs are beautiful little flowers, and then every card has a different flower on it um, and what the flower is. So if you're just getting into flowers or, um, yeah, getting into learning how to use flowers and stuff, this is a cute little deck for that. Um, and if you know tarot, it could be like the made miners only. Um, I don't know. I thought it was cute. For a dollar, it was well worth it. Because I am getting into learning the plants and all that. And I did just get the Herb Crafters Tarot yesterday, which I am loving it. But this is so stinking cute. And I thought it was cool. And now I'm kicking myself because they had a uh, landscape one there. I should have got it, too. It was a dollar. Um, but, yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little deck. So that is the playing card deck. And it's getting very breezy. I'm hoping it don't rain. Um, and then we have the, I got these for three bucks, five bucks at the Five and Blow 54 Affirmation Cards. And I had to rip the top off because it had a thing that hung on to a, a hanger. It's horrible. Um, but these are the backs. And they're playing card size as well. And then it's got sayings, um, affirmations on the front. And they're all different colors. Um, and I love it. It's so adorable. I used it also while I was gone. It was very cute. And if you just need a quick pick-me-up, this is the deck for you. And it was $5. Um, cardstock is actually pretty good. Um, I've gotten a card, couple of different decks there at the five and below, and the cardstock is like paper thin. But these are actually nice, plain cardstock. Today I'm in charge. Today I'm in control of how I feel. Nobody can make me feel any other way than happy. Oh. So yeah, these are cool little affirmations, and I love them. So there's that deck and then we're on to the last deck my husband looks like he's getting ready to leave yep so the last deck was an indie deck the arcana was the other indie deck i got the rest of them are all either well these were five and below and the rest of them are all i got on amazon for like um, actually, the Ancestor Path Hero, it is on Amazon, but I still got it at my local metaphysical shop for like $25. So the rest of them are like super cheap, like $10, 12 bucks. Um, The Morgan Girl, I think, was 12 something. It was on sale. And the more Myst Oracle Mystical Moments was, I think, 20 1920 This I got on Etsy, um, and I just did a walkthrough. Got it last Wednesday when I was leaving to go on my trip. So, when I was gone, I cleansed it and played with it a little bit. It is a plastic deck, uh, the Rider Waite Tarot deck, and if I remember, I'll post a link to where I got it. I showed it when I did my walkthrough. Um, comes in with a little book, but it's gorgeous, and it's my first ever plastic deck. Um, these are the backs. And then it's got like a pink paint splatter on the fronts. 
it is your typical right away Smith images just with like pink splatters on it. And I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So hard. As much as I love my 2.0. Um, even better, I think, because it's the colors are even more vibrant in it as well. Um, and I could use this in the tub if I want it. <laughs> I have a deck for the tub now. And I keep dropping cards. So, yeah, this is the um, Rider Weight Tarot deck. Um, if you look it up, it's Rider Weight Watercolor on Etsy. Actually, I can pull it up right now. And that's not Etsy. Let me get this card. Before it gets muddy. Because it rained all day. It's by Tarot Cards Dark Forest. And that's what it looks like. Tarot Cards Dark Forest. So I'll leave that for a second. Let you guys copy that. Take a picture whatever. Um, and right now they're normally $66. They're on sale for 1980 right now. Uh, which is what I got this one for. What I paid for this one. But it is really, really pretty. And uh, even the traditional colors, like that yellow is like a more vibrant yellow. Um, which I love it. Look at that full. Look at the teal here. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So that was the decks I got in the month of August. Um, and then I got a book because I've been procrastinating really bad on writing. And I'm like, I want to be a famous writer, but I'm not writing anything. And I keep hearing that small, still voice or my guide or somebody saying, you ain't going to make nothing of yourself if you don't write. And so I've been trying to kind of combine my writing and my tarot practice for a while now. Um, and then I came across this book published by Llewellyn, and it is Tarot for Writers. And I got it right before I left as well. It is a hefty, hefty, meaty book. It's got all kinds of tarot spreads in there. I mean, it is fantastic. And I read a little bit of it while I was gone. It breaks down each card. Look at the amount of words, the amount of information on just the High Priestess. It's got key symbols. Um, it has everything a writer could want that wants to combine these two. Uh, and I love it. I love it so hard. And then at the end, it's got a glossary of tarot terms and symbols. So, like, above and below would be heaven and earth. Adam and Eve, the primordial, primordial couple. Air, one of the four elements active. Masculine corresponds to the minor arcana suit of swords and the intel intellect. So I never realized that that coincided with masculine energy. Um, so it's just stuff like that that just adds to the, the tarot knowledge that I have. Plus, it's going to help me because um, there's a ton of spreads in here for writers. So I think that is fantastic. There is, oh my God, 358 pages in this book. And it is a big book. It's normally if I have something that's this big many pages it's a, a small paperback um this is not so that's going to be great to read as i continue to read it i will keep you guys updated if you're interested on that um but that was on i think that was the most expensive thing i got in in here except for the playing cards here because it was 25 dollars as well <laughs> um but yeah that's the stuff i got in august if you guys have any of these decks you want any of these decks let me know uh, in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And you guys have a great day. Bye.